Alright, what's up everybody? My name is Lord Davy and welcome back to Rewriting Indiana Jones. Now we're going to get on to another adventure of our old treasure hunter Indiana. And uh, this time he was actually, it was just this time he was craving some authentic Chinese food, so he just decided to get on a plane and go to Shanghai and just chow down. Simple as that. He's pretty much a billionaire for all the artifacts that he's stolen throughout the years, so he can get away with stuff like this. Any figures, you might as well hit up an old fling. That girl right there, her name's Willie, and he, uh, he, he did the nasty with her way back when. So he's like, eh, I'll get some Chinese food and get some dessert right after. Please find gentlemen right here. He's like, oh, hey, thanks for, thanks for hosting me. I, uh, I snacked this, um, this one little, little green gem from, a. Uh, Fucking grandma on the way in. Figured you'd have it. <laughs> then turns out these guys right here, they uh they're trying to drug Indiana that see that wasn't actually poison, that guy just passed out because he was drunk. And what they're holding in that bottle is water, because um I just say Indiana, he is uh he's pretty famous for for another thing aside from treasure hunting. And, and that would be his wiener. So these guys were gonna, you know, take advantage of him. So we're now we're gonna try and bribe all these guards just to give him some damn water in a system to sober him up. Well, through Indy's adventures with the, uh, get the hell out of the way. Through his adventures with the Raiders of the Lost Ark one. And the Devil's Loot Crate, uh, when that one demon passed Indiana and Marion when they were about to kiss, um, it was kind of odd. Apparently it gave Indiana, him and anybody around him, the power to dig really fast and build really fast, as long as they're within the vicinity of Indiana himself. So yeah, that was a fun little side effect on his side. He'll take that. He might be a little cursed, but his life got a little easier. He thinks it had something to do with the snake civilization, to where the digging, you know, serpents dig and stuff, and then the building, well, they had this super unique- get, Throw the goddamn thing! They had this super unique civilization down under. So you see Indiana drink that water nice and sober again. He makes a face because he's not used to just drinking water straight. Granted, Everclear would have still fucked him up, though. hi -ya! Then I let's just get the fuck out of here. I've had my Chinese food. I'm feeling a lot more sobered up. I just wanna not right now. And that small child in driving the car, that's actually um Indiana's bastard son. Yeah. Him and Willie uh had a had a kid together. His name is Short Round. And Indiana is not the best at pulling out, so yeah, here he is. There, that little, uh, that little, um, kid. So Indiana's just gotta find a way to process this now. Yeah, see? Look how fast he put a car back together. It's good to be cursed. I'm not really sure where the fuck he went for a moment. I didn't like that. One for good measure. Alright. Let's get the fuck out of here. So now we're just gonna get on this plane real quick. Because uh, we're kind of being hunted right now. They're, they're a bit sour that they weren't able to take advantage of me. Yeah, Indiana doesn't know how to be a father. I mean, he knows how to make a son and a daughter, that's for sure. But um, this whole parenting thing really caught him off guard. He's just like, so, uh, did, did we feed it today, or? He's like, ha ha, you can't touch my butt. And that she's like, oh, fuck you, who cares, I don't care. You just die. Way to not let me have sex with you, asshole. One of the pilots is like, 
So wait, they're all asleep. Why can't we just slit their throats? <laughs> like, no, this is more fun. The other pilot's like, well, I can't argue there. Uh, skydiving is pretty badass, but... Flouchy yes, we uh, did this while they were awake. Like, okay, that works. To the raft. So we've been floating down the river a couple days now, pretty much starving at this point. We find out Willie's a little racist, that's incredibly rude. Freaked out as soon as she saw a person of a different color than her. That is fucking messed up. So we see in this whole rundown village that they tried to steal from the palace up on the hill, their, uh, their treasures, and it didn't go so well. The palace retaliated, and they took their treasure back, and they actually took some children as retaliation. So he's he's pretty bummed about that. He's like, yeah, not gonna lie, we kind of had a big altar in place to keep the treasures, and that wasn't our brightest moment. Would you mind, like, taking your treasure back for us, and we'll, like, I don't know, um, maybe let you have some of it, and he's like, oh, I have some of it? Yes, please. So yeah, they got a little deal going on. Indiana's gonna steal the treasure back, even though it was the palaces. And now Indiana's discovered his new favorite animal, the elephant, because it can step the fuck on snakes. Indy's still scared of snakes after that time. His parents got instant karma and bitten by him. I love you, mama. I love you, daddy. For whatever reason, Short Round sounds like the little kid from Shrek 4. He's like, I don't know which side he got that from, but sir, sure as shit wasn't me. Fuck you, snakes. Oh, look at that. Remember the big old spider from before? Fuck you, get stepped on. Candy is like, hell yeah, animal cruelty at its fucking finest. They just wind up in the palace they have no idea they're about to be robbed from. Like, oh wow, Mr. Jones, you're a you're a world renowned treasure hunter. Um can you like not steal from us? He's like, yeah, yeah, I definitely promise as he, you know, crosses his fingers behind his back. So, you know, Indiana, he gets some soup, short round gets a hot dog and uh they cut off a monkey's head and tried to feed Ellie or Willie uh monkey brains because they kinda hate women in this civilization. Hey. A little messed up, everyone's kind of a bad guy in this universe. And it's like, hey, um, so what's the story on this treasure and the kids? Like, oh yeah, well, I mean, they stole from us, so we took our stuff back and took their kids. The end. Now, off to bed. And, you know, there immediately the enemies there, and they're like, hey, uh, these guys know way fucking too much. Let's, uh, let's get the guard in there and shut that shit down immediately. They're like, sir, but he's, he's a world-renowned treasure hunter. Are we sure we can handle it? And he's like, at this point, I really don't care. We just, we need to do something. Did that? I think that bug just committed suicide. Oh, please. Let me just get right through here if my thighs will let me. Hi. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm Indiana Jones, bitches. Oh, hi. Several birds, two stones, and my fists. Now we're just trying to find where the hell the treasure's at. We don't really care about the kids so much. We just want the treasure. Indiana doesn't really know how to be a parent, so he's just like, Hey, um, don't die, kid. Come on, daddy. We got, we got to find that treasure. Yeah, we're about to get fucking squished. 
So uh, let's uh, let's not get squished. Boop. I did it, guys! I saved the day. So we've been exploring this cave system for a couple hours now until we finally find it. And uh, that gentleman with the hat, his name is uh, Mala Ram, and he's like the, the royal vizier for like the little kid king we saw earlier. That was one of the people we kidnapped. Well, that the, they kidnapped for retribution. They're like, oh god, how fucking uncivilized. But no, they just they just burn his clothes off and get him a little red. Just they wanted to publicly shame him. Not kill him. I mean yeah, it's kind of a little traumatizing for sure. But I mean, better than, you know, death. <laughs> then we see the treasure. And it's like, holy shit, look at the size of those things. One of the Hancock guards kidnapped Willie. He's like, well, there's only one of me and three of them, so I'm just going to make it zero of me and two of them to help my fellow brothers out. Hey, I see you fucking lurking up there. Hold on. I think I can hit you. Ah, whatever. Eat a dick. So what kind of sports do you play, son? Oh, daddy, I don't really play any sports. Mama won't let me. Hmm. Alright. Uh... Do you... Like... Your mom? Yes, daddy. I do. So, son, tell me, what's your opinion on whips? I love whipping, daddy. And from that moment on, he knew that that's definitely his son. So now we're just trying to get to where the treasure is. We we're not even looking for Willy. We just want the damn treasure. The hell that one? There you are. I was wondering where you went. Now you're dead. Yeah, here we go. Just gonna drop down on these guys. Fucking nine girls gonna about to rock their shit. Great. Don't know where this guy's going. What are you doing? Is he is he trying to ambush us? Get ambush, dumbass. And he was like unguarded, hell yeah, fucking Merry Christmas to me. Here comes Mala, like, um yeah, no. <laughs> That's not how this works. So you see he's holding a potion and it actually brings out your innermost kindest thoughts and, and feelings. And he's like, hey, I, I used this on the king and he's been quite the just ruler, very charitable and whatnot. And he's saying, it's like, abso fucking lootly not, not with my lifestyle. So the king and the vizier, they get away and he and the, leave the treasure as well. They're like, yeah, this is, uh, this is definitely not fucking worth it. And it's like, oh, Willie, you're here too. How, how cool. Well, since we're here, I guess we'll uh, save you. Is uh, is that what you want to hear, son? Yes, Daddy. I love my mama. I would very much like to save her. Yeah, it's like cool. Well, uh, we'll save her, but then the then the treasure, right? Absolutely, I want that treasure. Come on, mama. I got you. Me and Daddy are gonna rescue you, and then we're gonna get that treasure, and then we're gonna start whipping people. Andy I was growing more and more fond of this kid. Alright, Willie, um, there, I rescued you. Look at me, I'm the hero. It's the Vizier's right hand man. Can't remember what his name is, but I assume it's something stupid. Now I gotta talk to one of their gods. Ooda, ooda, ooda. Ooh, 
Boogity boogity. Like a motion detector like thing going on. <laughs> Get fucking exploded, boy. I was like, did, did that traumatize you? I don't know. I'm too young to process it healthily, daddy. So maybe. Okay, well, anyway. Let's grab this treasure and get the fuck out. Willie, come on. You too. That was, uh... <laughs> Rewriting Indiana Jones Part 3. Uh, this is such a fun little series. Um, but yeah, that's really gonna do it tonight. If you're watching on Twitch, feel free to follow me and I'll follow you back. And if you're uh, watching this on YouTube, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, and all that good stuff. And, yeah. Bye.